this ladies fund has been really really gracious to sort of really promote me and uh, at the at the awards you'll see how you know we'll be giving away all giveaways to each of the attendees and the you know chief guests and all the different members of uh, the jury and uh, the judges and a lot of different people so what that allows us to do is for the first time sort of really uh, expand our horizons and be in this you know be in the spotlight to people who might not have run into us before uh, because you know it, it tends to be like communities tell each other when they're in their communities and there are a lot of people we miss in, you know in the mix so that's going to be really great and I think this is a really good platform for my business because it's a ladies salon and all the people in attendance or well 99% of the people in attendance will be women so for me it's a great market so I think for people who are starting out women who are starting out in businesses especially businesses that either rely on women staff or rely on uh, you know women spreading the word or rely on women as customers that connect to women in any way it's a very good uh, it's a very good crowd it's a very it's it's a different crowd from different parts of you know the society as well, which is, I think is cool. well. How it helps, we'll know after the awards, of course. Uh, so so far, I mean, like today is my first uh, you know ex experience in all this. So I've already had like a couple of people ask me questions about where's your salon, what is your salon, what do you do, you know, how did you think of doing it and stuff like that. So like in fact, like the interview I just gave. So the, this will be my first experience in getting out there. So it'll hopefully have a very good response, and especially that day when we're giving away stuff and uh, when we give away stuff and people take our giveaway home and if they like it and uh, they decide to visit our salon there'll be all the information in that to visit our salon so hopefully they'll come over and visit our salon and uh, we'll see what kind of response we get from that as for what my biggest challenge has been I think that you know it's challenging to do a lot of the work that has to do with maintenance and manual labor sort of things like you know like electric work and plumbing work and like you know sort of more male oriented not situations but like you know things that you know the men in the family are usually the ones who deal with the with the pani ka problem and the bijli ka problem the KESE wala has come to shut your bigli off or he's shutting off the wrong meter and like you know you have there's a lot of that stuff uh, but I think that that's that's the challenge but I've also learned to deal with it like I think initially I would like you know resort to like running to my husband and being like come help me I don't know you know how to talk to this guy and you know he, he's also helped to sort of push me and say no you know you can do it go and do it you'll be able to and over the time now I have got the respect from these people who have now become sort of you know they, they're used to now they're, they're on my panel like you know I have a plumber who comes all the time so now he's they've also understood that okay you know the woman also knows what she's talking about like to the point that I now know everything about generators and why they break down and everything and now the generator guy himself can't believe that I know so much experience I think I've learned a lot in the f first two years and uh, I think we should definitely people should just jump in do a business try it out uh, my name is Shara Kirai I own Blu-ray and Salon 